everyone, all you Microbox fans out there, time for a quick demo on the Microbit. First thing, plug the board into the laptop using a USB cable. It should light up this green connect um, icon up here. That's when you know it's ready to go. If not, just select update firmware on board. Now that we're ready to go, one of the first things I usually do with new boards is just set the user LED. Check that everything's working. On a micro bit, you can have fun right away by changing the display face. Happy, clear. There's also basic sensors on this board, which will tell you the tilt and acceleration and light level and temperature. And there are other libraries we can load, like scrolling. There is a whole ton of sensors and actuators in here, but I'm going to load this one up and show you how quickly you can you can do things with this LED display. Let's just say hi. Go. Now what else can we do in microblocks? There's a graph function and say things. You can check those. I'm going to show you those in a second. You can immediately check the uh, indication like for example button A. Here it's pressed. True. Unpressed. False. We can see how many analog and digital pins are on this board. Forgot to show you that you can also check the board type. It already knows. Control functions, a bunch of logic, um, conditionals, operators, math, and other logical functions. Variables you can assign and use throughout your programs. Data has full of strings and, and lists. My blocks you can create your own and call as functions. A good way to make your code readable. And then libraries from other people. Now you can do the, all of this in many different languages. You can, uh, we're going to show you how to plot some data in real time. And we're going to grab maybe the light level. That's a pretty easy thing to plot. And I can just show it all in real time by dropping this block into a forever loop and say go. You see the light level now? Let's block it. And in real time, I can see the results of this input. Pretty cool, eh? Now, where do you get started? Well, you might as well uh, just go up into the examples under File, Open. And there's art, games, music, networking, web of things, a whole bunch of stuff. We're just going to try a simple game called Rock, Paper, Scissors, the button option instead of the shake option. And then I'm going to play this game against my hand, which you probably can't see in this video. But I'm going to choose paper and then see what it does. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, and scissors cuts paper, so I lose. Better luck next time. <laughs>